This is everything you're not supposed to do in a road trip. Dry camping. Score. Okay, let me see what I can do. Wow. It is very magical. This turkey's really climbing a tree right now. Whoa. Pretty nerve wracking. Six years later, you'd think we would be better at this, but here we are. <laughs> We've officially started our extremely long journey from San Diego, California, back to Tampa, Florida. We have some international trips planned this summer, so we are headed back to Florida to spend some time with family and get ready for our next adventure. It's gonna be a lot of time behind the wheel, but we do have some very cool stops along the way. hours down three more to go we're stopping at a rest stop for some lunch bathroom break stretch our bodies well, this rest stop is really rad and we're surrounded by sand dunes. today we're gonna be making some quesadillas we have leftover flour tortillas from Mexico we made some chicken last night if you're gonna have long drive days I always recommend having something quick on hand leftovers are fantastic to make sure you don't go hungry I say this as if we do it every time we almost never prepare properly but this time we have Thanks, babe. I'm very good. This is the first of, I don't even want to know how many gas fill-ups we're gonna have to do between California and Florida. I'm curious if anyone can guess how much we're gonna spend in fuel costs between now and when we get home. If you have your guess, leave it in the comments below. But we are saving money with this fill-up. We're saving like 80 cents a gallon because we use this app called Upside. And if you wanna save money on each fill-up that you do, we'll leave a link in the video description so you can start getting cash back on your Phillips too. 175. So expensive though. So annoying. For anyone that might be new to RVing and planning their first road trip, I just want to emphasize how long RV travel can take. It is not as simple as just hopping in the car and cruising at like 70, 75 miles per hour. RV travel is way more fatiguing. It often takes longer. You can't go as fast. Said it was going to take five hours. We left the house today at 10 a.m. and we arrived to the campground at five. Took a lot longer. Tonight we're camping at Pikachu State Park. It's just off of Highway 8, which makes it really convenient. They have electricity. It's $25 a night. So it fits all the needs because it is so hot here. I think today's high was 99 degrees. We were hoping to squeeze in some hiking because there are some really great trails at the state park. But I don't know. With that heat, we may just stay one night and continue on our way. We did just text our friends in Baja to see how they were doing. They're headed to Tucson and happenstance they're about to pass this state park so instead of going to their destination they're going to camp here and i'm so excited to be reunited with them Hi. it's only been like four days Hi, but we love them Hi, Nova, Nova. scoping them views gorgeous the sunset is something else We've said goodbye to our friends. They have to head to Tucson. Today is a little bit less than yesterday. We're only going about four hours in Google time. So we'll see how long it actually takes. I would love to stay at this state park in more favorable weather. I think if you're coming here in early spring, late fall, just before winter, this would be a awesome place to stay. Yes. Left at 12. It is now 8:25. Although we did go through a time zone change, so it was really 7:25. But this is everything you're not supposed to do in a road trip. We're arriving at dark. We have no reservations. We do not like to make reservations when we are doing cross-country trips like this. We found things can just happen. Maybe you don't make it to the destination on time, and if you have reservations, you end up losing that money. So we kind of just wing it. We have five, six years almost under our belt of doing this now, so that's not something that scares us or worries us, and we really haven't had any issues with it. It also allows us to drive around when we get there to see what's available and pick out the spot that we really want. Whenever you make reservations online, sometimes you just end up in like a mediocre spot. So we're doing a loop right now. This is it. 24, 23, and 22 are open. 
So let's just walk this one and see if we can even get level up there okay. before we back it in. I think it's gonna be low on the driver's side. I am right. You're high in the front. High in the front. Okay, let me see what I can do. All right, perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. Now we need to make dinner. Chef Lise at your service. Tonight we will be serving a spaghetti squash with pesto. I don't know what this accent is. I don't like literally don't even know what country that's supposed to be from. Delirious at this point. Homemade pesto. Why did I choose the hardest recipe? I don't know, dude. I'm trying to find ways to make this easier. I'm on it. I'm going to chiffon the basil. Chiffon. It smells good in here. It smells so good in here. I love the smell of fresh basil. I think I'm gonna make it just a nice light sauce. Garlic, butter, a little bit of olive oil. Dinner is served. I think it came out lovely. This is not my best work, but for a makeshift dinner, when you've just driven like seven hours, Voila. I can't tell you how nice it is to break up long drives. Feels so good just to have some time to de-stress and relax and be out in nature. Whenever you're doing super long stretches like this, I highly, highly recommend building in a day or two every like few days just to give yourself some time to decompress. And this state park is the perfect place to do it. We've gone on walks every afternoon right at the sunset. There's a bunch of hiking trails in the area. We're not gonna be sharing the exact location with you. This is my aunt's favorite place pretty much in all of the United States. And she has requested that we kind of keep it a little bit of a secret so it doesn't become so popular it's difficult to get into and we are respecting her wishes. Yes, and if you do know where this place is, be respectful and don't blast it in the comments. Yeah, sometimes it's cool to let hidden gems remain hidden. Horny toad? Is it a horny toad? I'm pretty sure that's what they call a horny toad, yeah. Wow. <laughs> they blend in so well. Kids have those as pets mm -hmm. back in Florida. Don't know. <laughs> I like seeing them like this in nature. Yeah, me too. I can see why Beth likes this place so much. It is very magical. And just a short hike away from our campsite is an old midden because we're actually camping in the ancestral homelands of the Chiricahua Apache. So they created kitchens in these rocks that you can still see today where they were grinding whatever they were gathering here off of the land to process into food. But when you get here, please respect it. Don't scratch your name in any rocks. Be here and just realize why the ancestral peoples also love this place just as much as we do today. Hi, buddy. Hi, princess. What's doing? Good girl. What you gonna do, buddy? This turkey's really climbing a tree right now. You wanna get that lizard so bad, don't you? Yes, you do. We had a nice relaxing morning. Today was the first day we woke up and felt like, okay, I feel rested, I feel rejuvenated, I'm like myself again. We took the kitties out for some outside time. They love being outdoors. Now they are happy kitties for the long drive day that's ahead. We are going to be heading into Texas. Once again, it is another four hour drive roughly on Google, but realistically, it's probably gonna be at least five to six hours drive time and on the RV. We will be in central time once we arrive in Texas. We're moving quick, we're making progress. Let's do this. Welcome to Texas. Crazy, that is Mexico right there. Hola, Mexico! Hola, vecinos! We got hungry as we were passing through El Paso, so we decided to stop at an institution here, L and J Cafe. It is one of the oldest restaurants in all of El Paso, and it was fabulous. I got chili relleno, 
Dennis got chicken enchiladas with salsa verde. Super, super tasty. And the prices weren't too bad. It was popping off when we were there. I'm glad we were able to get a table. And now we are going to continue on. And unfortunately, we are not going to make it to our final destination because there is some really bad storms happening. There's a tornado watch in Fort Stockton, which was where we were originally trying to go. So we're going to reroute and kind of stop about an hour and a half before. We're gonna boondock, stay on I-10. One of the rest stops. It is not glamorous, but it's a safe place to camp and we do not run the risk of a tornado. So there's that. It's like blue skies over here. Beautiful weather. Over here, it is looking quite dark. Drove through some nasty weather trying to get to Albuquerque the last time we came down. It wasn't fun. <laughs> Pretty nerve wracking. Good morning. We had a pretty restless night last night. The storms were still blowing through, so there was a lot of wind. Our RV was shaking, but also it's a picnic area on the side of I-10. We're right next to the highway. This is where a lot of big trailers come to park over the evening, and they just like run their big rigs all night. Dennis woke up at like 6 a.m. and we're just gonna hit the road because there's supposed to be more bad weather today. We wanna get through the swell before winds pick up. It just baffles me that in this lifestyle we can go from sleeping in the most beautiful places to sleeping in the least glamorous places the very next day. It's gonna hop off I-10. It's gonna add like about an hour, but I don't care because there's gonna be less traffic. It's not 80 miles an hour like I-10 is. We made a pit stop at Advanced Auto Parts. Dennis is replacing our windshield wipers, topping off fluids. It was a perfect break for me to make some breakfast and some coffee so we continue on this journey. situation we got going on. Can we talk about how much hair I lose every yeah, time I, I brush it? See it? Like that is insane. Break. We've had some things break on our drive. For example, our shade will no longer be a nightshade. She has decided to um lean to the side. She just got, doing her own thing. Yeah. We've had our picture fall off our side wall. But we've made it to San Antonio where we are going to be staying for a week. After all of that driving, we have a week break to work, to explore. So make sure to stay tuned for that. <gasps> well, this dropped half of the chicken breast on the hairy ass floor. <laughs> Delicious roller grill items. Mix and match just two for four dollars. Add a polar pop starting at you. There it is. It's that one. Yeah, all right. C-O-R-M-A-C. Quimic. <laughs> 